Pues amigos, me llena de emoción que en este primer programa les vaya a presentar yo una entrevista exclusiva con Robert De Niro, que es uno de los mejores actores norteamericanos a nivel mundial. Él nos habla mucho de su parte humana, vino a México pues, a inaugurar su restaurante, el Nobu, y le hicimos una entrevista que de ver les va a gustar mucho. Well, Mr. De Niro, I'm Mr. Castillo from Pesa, from Mexico. I'm an admirer of you. And I was telling you in the conference yes. that when I go to the Tribeca, one of your waiters, I go with the uh, black model. Uh, yeah. And he told me, you know, that our chief is married with a black woman. I said, I know, I know that. Because I love black women. Go, you know what he told me? What? That he, uh, when you go black, you never go back. <laughs> when my, my, pregunta, my question of the friend, Yeah, when you wake up and you see at the, in the yeah. mirror of your life, you yeah. have a talent, you, you're born with that talent. Yes, yes. What do you think, who gives you that talent? I say I'm very lucky. Yes, <laughs> you're very Then lucky. I'll say gracias, 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 Dio, for, 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 for the kind of for Gracias, Fortunato. Si, to be lucky that I have done so well and I've been so fortunate to have So well. mm. I don't know if you are involved in politics, but I want to know what is your feeling about the president, the actual president of the United States, Mr. Obama. I, I voted for him. I think he's terrific. I think uh, he, will, he will do uh, a lot. The one thing about him yeah. is that he, whatever he does, he's trying to do the right thing. He might not succeed because he's involved. Once you get in that position of having to actually be the captain of the ship, you have to decide whether you go here or there. And it's easy for everybody to criticize him, but it's, uh, it's a very, very difficult position. It's a no-win uh, situation for him. Uh, because there are any, a lot of politicians, especially ones who want to do the right thing. And I think that everybody, I know that everybody who voted for him knows that here's a person who really wants to do the right thing. He won't always succeed because other forces will make him have to compromise. And maybe that's the better road, that compromise. And then people say, well, he said he was going to do this, and now he's not going to do it. That happens with everybody, and we always say that's what really happens with politicians, but the bottom line with Obama, I feel he is a, a very, very good choice and will do good things for the country and for the world. If you have the less opportunity, like an actor or producer, what kind of film you like to make? And we, we, we could be kind of actors or actors you can put in that picture on the, on the team. Sean Penn, Robert Downey Jr., uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, these are known actors. Um, and, uh, I mean, I like working with some of the actors who are not, who are not really actors, who are very real, people who are real, because they give you things in another way that's different than what an actor would give you. Say if they're from a certain world and you act with them and they, uh, because they are from that, really from that world, they give an authenticity that you can play off. Uh, that's uh, something like that. Say with the Bronx Tale, the movie I directed, there were all these kids who were all from that mm -hmm. background. They were all real kids. You couldn't get actors to do that with children, child actors. So that was very fun and exciting for me. You never have uh, the offer. Have you write a book? You never write a book? Yeah, we had a, we talked about it, but it never came about. It. Marty was it's, 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 it's easy to do it. It, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a discipline. It's a discipline, yeah. And the other question, uh, you know what means epitaph? Yes. Before you die, an yeah. epitaph. Yeah. Why do you really like to appear in your epitaph before you go? Oh, was it after you? Yeah, after, after you, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're, no, I, 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 I wouldn't want to say, I'd be embarrassed to say. <laughs> that would all be something nice and productive, but who knows? You have the opportunity be, before you go yeah. to another world. With what kind of people you like to have a brief supper or dinner, what kind of deal do you really like to eat? Uh, <laughs> I'm talking four or you know, five people, your, your wife, example, yeah. or with who, your best friend. Um, 
what kind of dinner and who would yes, I like to What do you choose? An Italian food? Uh, uh, well, that's a tough one. Your last meal, you're saying. That's a, I don't know if I knew it was my last meal. I don't know whether I'd want to have anything. But, uh, uh, you know, food is a... So every country has a unique taste and presentation of the food. And that's... I'd love to go to every country and sample the, uh, the great special dishes of each country. So if I had money, if I had, if I could, if it was my last meal, yes. I'd make it my last meal in each country, which I'm would make me live for another another year because I have to stop in each country to have a meal, right? So I, I accomplished two things: eat every meal in every country, and I, and I could keep living for another. Year. Well, Mike, uh, thank you very much for being okay. with me. You are very kind. We admire you in this country. I know that you have thousands of thousands of on interviews. You owe to the people the, the book, remember, with the Scorsese. Yes, yeah, well, it. that's what we've, we've talked about. And thank you very much. You are very kind. Thank you. thank you. I have Italian family from Milan, oh, okay. Castello Pesante. Uh, okay. okay, thank you very much, Mr. Mr. De Niro, for the Mexican audience. Thank you very much.